You may have heard you can track your sleep if you own an Apple Watch. This video will walk you through the setup and how to view the data. Sleep tracking is integrated with the Sleep app on your iPhone. You can use your Apple Watch to get information such as time spent in each sleep stage, REM, and tips for improving your sleep. Sleep tracking is automatically enabled when the app activates and enables the sleep schedule. Let's examine how to set up and track your sleep in watchOS 10. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. If you've never used the Sleep app before, you'll want to first open the Sleep app on your Apple Watch. And if you're in list view, you'll go ahead and scroll down to Sleep app. If you're in icon view, this is the app that you'll be looking for. Once you open the Sleep app, you'll read some things about it and you'll select Enable. Go ahead and read about notifications and when you're all finished, go ahead and select Done. Once you've enabled sleep tracking, you'll see your sleep data. Nothing will be there if you just set it up for the first time. You'll want to go ahead and tap on the clock in the upper left corner to come in to the sleep schedule. Here you can select and change the sleep schedule whenever you want. My sleep schedule automatically recognized that I wake up at approximately 4.45 a.m. every day. And so that's the schedule that it gave me. But you can go ahead and change that by tapping into it and then changing the sleep schedule to your schedule. Uh, I'm going to tap on the X to close that out. If I scroll down a little further, you'll also see that it recognizes that I go to bed around 9.30 p.m. every night. I believe you can make changes to that as well. So now I'll tap the X to come back. But the Apple Watch already had that configured for me because it recognized when I had alarm set and when I actually went to bed. If I continue to scroll a little further, you'll see that there's a place here that you could add another schedule if you wanted to. So maybe you have a schedule on the weekends versus what you wake up during the week. So you can add schedules if you want. You can also add a sleep goal. As you can see, mine is set for eight hours. And you can add a wind down time so that you can select, if I tap on that, it'll tell me, you know, it'll start reducing distractions for me right before I want to fall asleep. So once you have everything set up, you can go ahead and I'll tap on the back button in the upper left corner of the watch. But once you have everything set up the way you want to, if I push on the digital crown, that's going to take me back to the watch face. So now we have everything set up. And if we want to activate our sleep schedule, we would do that under the focus modes. So let's walk through how to activate your sleep schedule. And then let's take a look at where you would find the data. To activate a sleep mode, you'll want to push on the side button on the left not the digital crown. That takes you into the control center. Sorry, let me get back to the control center. Scroll down until you see the half moon, which is your do not disturb area and the focus area. If I push and hold on that, you'll see that my focus modes become available. If I wanted to start a sleep tracking, all I would need to do is tap on sleep and then the sleep tracking would begin. To view your sleep data on the iPhone, you'll want to open the health app. I'm going to open that. I'm going to make sure that I'm on browse. And then I'll scroll down until I see sleep. I'll tap on that. 
And here you have the option to view just your last couple of sleeps if you want to, so you can scroll backwards and see the sleeps in the previous days. You can tap on the W for week or month, and you can also view it up to the last six months. If I scroll down a little further, again, you'll see the sleep schedule and you can edit it directly from here. And if I edit it on my iPhone, it's going to automatically transfer over to the Apple Watch. And the same goes for anything that I change in the schedule area. That will also transfer back over to uh, the Apple Watch. If I tap on show more sleep data, what you're going to see is, is that I haven't done this using my Apple Watch. So this is just coming from the iPhone itself. I'm going to start using the Apple Watch. And when I do, all of these areas will begin to fill in. If I wanted to, I could toggle off the sleep schedule inside the iPhone and then use focus mode on the Apple Watch to turn it on. So if you prefer that method, but then you have to remember every night to turn it on via the focus mode. So if I come into the full schedule and options, I could toggle off the sleep schedule, but then you have to remember to on the uh, Apple Watch itself, hit the side button, go to your focus mode area, that half moon, push and hold on it, and then turn your sleep uh, focus on from that area. It's much easier to just turn on the sleep schedule and it'll automatically be enabled at the schedule that you have set. Good sleep is a sign of better health. With sleep tracking on the Apple Watch, you can get precise data on your sleep and improve it by using the tips in the health app. If you have an Apple Watch, try sleep tracking and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.